Hey guys, we're at Premier Shooting and Training in Westchester. We're going to be shooting some plates today, and uh, this is kind of what we have. We're going to be doing a bunch of plates on a demo, and we're going to be running plates, uh, basically shooting a bunch of stuff today with Caliber Armor, uh, Vism, AR500, and um, Spartan. So we've got some targets sit down here, which are going to be pretty nice for us. They're being pretty accommodating. we got some targets, and they're about... 30 feet away, we're gonna start blowing some stuff up. When you see that big gray puff of smoke, that's a 5.56 hit on the uh, Spartan Armor plate, which is the one on the right. And it actually tore the coating almost clean off of the plate. And uh, I'll show you some pictures here that I had at the end of the video. Second round here is just a 5.56 green tip, uh, standard green tip round. We're just looking for penetration and uh, additional damage. Both plates held up fine in this desk. Here we set up and we're going to be using the 8K, shooting a mild steel core round. See what that does against the AR-550, which is the caliber on my left, and then the AR-500 uh, steel, which is the Spartan on my right. Again, you see another big puff of smoke out of the Spartan. We'll show you some additional pictures of that when we're done, but essentially the jacketing on it, the coating on it, the liner to capture all your fragmentation is gone. Uh, and we'll show you that here in just a little bit. So here we're shooting a uh, side plate actually by an AR500 brand. This is, we didn't have a front or back plate to test at the time. But this is a double coated um, side plate by AR500. And uh, we're just seeing what it does against 556 here. Yeah, you're just you're running. You can see our first shot took the coating completely off the plate. You can see steel there. Um, and now we're going to fire a second shot on it and see if it fares any better. So we threw a Vism plate in here as well. This is one of their NIJ certified level 3 plates. It's a lightweight plate. It's only about 3.1 pounds. And we fired three rounds out of it by three different guns in pretty quick succession. Two 5.56 five, guns and then an AK round just to see what it would do. And uh, here are the results.
Hey, we're trying to do some follow-up at one of our offices here. It makes it a little easier for audio and some of the video that we're taking. So this is that Spartan Armor AR500. This is the first round that we shot. Um, almost completely knocked the coat and clean off. And I should mention, all of the plates that we tested are double-coated. So they're supposed to be, uh, are supposed to protect you against frag and spalling. This thing um, knocked the jacket off the side. And what was kind of interesting, and it's hard to see, but that big hole there, that 5.56 five, round, the first 5.56 five, round that we fired at that, almost went completely through. And that's what created that big dimple on the back uh, of, this, of this plate. I mean, that thing is almost all the way through there. It, just incredible. <clears throat> it didn't do that with the 5.56 five, green tip. It didn't do that with the AK. It did it with a simple 5.56 five, round. The AK kind of is what did this thing in. Um, it delaminated the plate almost entirely. It goes all the way up the side. We didn't do that That's the after the round. That created obviously a lot of spalling, which was uh, not ideal. The caliber armor uh, that we tested did really, really well. No delamination except for right here in the corner where uh, we shot that AK round. And um, I know that the corners, I know that the edges are going to be hard to keep the coating on there. I totally understand that. This plate did so well. As far as the coating, we actually shot some 5.7 at it just to see what it would do. And uh, it really, really did well. The coating captured everything um, pretty well. You can't really, um, really even tell it was shot it besides that delamination issue. The AR500 brand using AR500 steel. Um, first shot here, second shot here, the coating's completely gone. They use a line X like a bed liner, and we think it's great for your truck bed, but maybe not so good for your, uh, for your armor. And just to be fair, um, we sell all these brands, so it's not like we're trying to play favorites here. The, uh, the Vism did really well also. So first shot was a 5.56 and an AK, and those are done pretty quick. And then we load up another one and do... Uh, another you know five five six round just to see what it'll do and and we're really right around 27 feet 28 feet but we'll just say we'll call it 30. Um, so you have some back face deformation here it's kind of hard to see but uh, nothing that was real crazy uh, these have built-in trauma protection so I don't think that that would even uh, even really matter that that uh, trauma would have been mitigated through the plate when we talk about normal steel plates we need to talk about trauma protection uh, you should always have trauma padding behind your steel. And then just for kind of, for some fun, we took this other uh, caliber armor plate out and just beat the crap out of it. We had, um, we had uh, customers kind of shooting this plate and doing their kind of stuff with it. We ended up getting a little bit of delamination there, finally. Um, that was actually from an AK round as well. But the spalling there would not have been significant enough to worry about. That would have been caught in the, as a matter of fact, was caught in the, um, in the carrier that we had them in. So just kind of a, just kind of neat to see what they all do and what they don't do. And, um, you know, like I said, these are all brands we carry. Uh, so this is stuff that we show to our customers as well. This one, like I said, really had, in my opinion, the Spartan Armor and the AR500 brand, uh, or AR500 Armor, um, you know, really kind of did the worst in my mind but uh, you guys are free to make up your own mind and tell us what you think all right we appreciate you